Hello, big team. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Bay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth. And in this video, I'd like to talk about the series that I'm planning to make progress in and finish or catch up with and focus on this year, 2022. So I started a challenge last year. I'm sure most of you have heard about it by now called Serious About Series, hashtag Serious About Series, or SAS as it's come to be called. And I have to admit that after I... Um, announced the challenges particular to this year, it has been difficult to adhere to my own challenges because I have so many series that I want to read. But it kind of defeats the purpose to put them all on the list because the whole idea is to figure out what you're going to focus on. So I have a list of 22 series that I want to work to finish or um, catch up with. Now, I know in my challenge, I said a list of 20, a list of 20, and a list of two. So the goal of this list of 22 is to actually do and finish reading 20 of these. It's just that I had a hard time narrowing it down. And it's good to have alternates. So I have 22 on this list, I believe. And some are middle grade, some are romance, and some are cozy mystery. And then I have several other series that I want to make progress in, and almost all of those are cozy mystery. And I really want to try to narrow it down to 10 different series that I want to read at least two in. Now, I will probably end up reading more than that, but uh, I even have a list of 20. So I could read one in all these 20, or I could read two in all these 20, or I could read two in at least 10. We'll just have to see how the year goes. But um, I, I want to really focus on the books that I own, and also it's easy to also you know, knock out the books that I can find on audio. So I have a few series I don't own, but they're readily available on audio. So, you know, we'll just have to see how it all comes out. Then I want to have two series. Um, well, I do have two series that I want to start and finish during the year um, 2022. So that's my list of two. So the challenge was to have a list of 20, another list of 20, and a list of two for 2022. Or just have a list of 22. Either way. So I'm opting for the 20, 20, and 2. So let's just get started. Um, I have, and I also have other goals other than these, and I'll do a separate goals video of how I did all my goals and what I'm doing moving forward. But in this video, we're just going to talk about series. So of the Cozy Mysteries, almost all of the Cozy Mysteries are ones that I've already caught up with, and I just want to read the, the newest book that comes out this year. Uh, one of those is The Coffee House Mysteries by Cleo Coyle, and I want to read Honey Roasted, which is due to come out within a few days from now. It was originally supposed to come out in December, and it was on my list to read last year, but uh, it got bumped to this year. So then the next one is The Hannah Swenson Baking Mysteries by Joanne Fluke. The newest one comes out, I believe, in late February. It's called Caramel Pecan Roll Murder. And then I want to read the newest of the Irish Village Mysteries by Carlene O'Connor. Now, when I started the year, I still had one that was published uh, in 2020, I guess, that I hadn't read. And I've already listened to it on audio. It was Murder in an Irish Bookshop. And then... The newest one, I'm not sure when it's coming out, but it's Murder at an Irish Farm, or Farm or Farmhouse, I think Farm. Then the Amish Candy Shop Mysteries has a new one coming out, and I'm not sure when. It's called Peanut Butter Panic. It's by Amanda Flower. And I've been hearing a lot of buzz about her other Amish series that I think is a spinoff, Amish Matchmaker. I haven't started it, uh, and I don't have it on my list, but it's really tempting because I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. And then the Highland Bookshop Mysteries by, is it Molly McRae, I think? And I am I, I let myself get a little bit behind on those. It's uh, So far, there's five in the series, and I have read the first two. So I need to read three of those to catch up. Uh, Thistles and Thieves, Heather and Homicide, and Argyle and Arsenic. Argyles, or Argyle, can't read my writing. And arsenic. And then there's a new Granny Reed mystery coming out by G.A. McKevitt, and that is called Murder Most Grave. And then last year, I think for the book one, Cozy's Club, I read the first one in the Ice Cream Parlor Mysteries by Abby Colette, and uh, 
There was a second one out at that point, and then there's a third one, I think, coming out this year, so I'd like to read both of those. Um, the first book... I can't think what the first one was called. I might put a picture of it here. Uh, anyway, the second book is called Game of Cones, and the third book is Killer Sunday. And then I have an Amish Christian cozy mystery series that my sister got me started on. So far, there's three books. I don't know if there's going to be any more than that, but it's the Shipshuana Amish Cozy Mystery Series by Vanetta Chapman. And my sister has sent me all of those, and I can get them on audio on Scribd. I have read the first one, and then the second one is called Perfect Square, and the third one is called Material Witness. I do have the first one sitting here somewhere. Um... The third one is still in the box of books that she just sent me, and I've got to um, get those out when I ever get around to doing a book haul. But this is the first one, Falling to Pieces, and the covers on the audiobooks don't look that, uh, don't have that same uh, design. But anyway, uh, that was really good. I enjoyed that a lot, and my sister has read them all and really, really loved them. So I'm excited to get back to those. Then another sort of mystery series. It's really more of a crime series and not cozy at all. And I love this series, not because it's super gritty. I don't think there's really much in the way of uh, swearing or anything. It's just darker. Um, but it is the Jane Whitefield series by Thomas Perry. Now talk about a series that you don't think there's going to be any more of. I just looked, and I think the last one, prior, there's one that has it's either just come out or it's about to come out, and there hasn't been one since 2014. So, you know, who would have thought? In fact, the only way I found it is I was just kind of looking back through some of my series that I have finished, you know, in the last couple of years, and I just decided to look it up. And lo and behold, there was a book. It's called The Left-Handed twin. And that's interesting because I believe that identical twins usually do have, uh, each one has a different, um, hand preference. I grew up with some twins, um, all through school, 12 years. One of them was right-handed, one was left-handed. And I don't know if, if that's true of all twins, but I have heard that. So, um, interesting. Okay. Then, I have a Christian romance series that I really want to read, and I have 23 books to read in this series. It's The Quilts of Love. Now, I can get all but the last four on Hoopla, not Hoopla, sorry, on Audible Plus, and uh, here's just a couple of them that I happen to have. They all have a quilt on the cover, and I'm not sure who is the publisher of these, but I have read or listened to the first two, really enjoyed them, Abington Press in, um, out of Nashville. So that is a, uh, Christian publisher. Then Susan Wiggs has got a new Bella Vista Chronicle a book coming out called Sugar and Salt. That'll be book four in the Bella Vista Chronicles. And then there is a new book in the new series by Janet Daly that's coming out. It's called Calder Grit. So I read the first one uh, last, uh, mm -hmm. last year, Calder Brand, and the series is called Calder Brand. Then the Beach House series by Mary Alice Monroe, I ended up not reading book seven, which just came out in 2020. So I want to read that. And then if there's a new one that comes out, I will read it as well. And then I would like to maybe go ahead and finish the Hope's Crossing series by Ray Ann Thane. What has held me back is that the next two I need to read are only on Audible and they're, um, you know, they're not free. <laughs> they're not on Audible Plus. Uh, the very last one is on Hoopla, but I would need to read two in print before I get to the last one. So I need to read three. Willow Leaf Lane, Christmas in Snowflake something camp. I don't know what that says because um, I can't read my own writing in sometimes. Um, that was a horrible sentence. I can't read my own writing sometimes. That's what I meant to say. Wild Irish Iris Ridge is the book that is on um, Hoopla. The first and the last of that series are on Hoopla. Okay, um, and there's one other one that I do have here. It's a series I've been reading for a while. I've been buddy reading them with Mandy Garrett. Her channel is The Night Owl, so I'll leave a description to her uh, channel in the description. Uh, 
I'll leave a link to our channel in the description. Um, these are lettered. It's a 12 book series and we've got three left. And I think we will hopefully try to go ahead and finish these this year. Um, the letter J, because these are lettered, not numbered, is Crossroads by Marissa Carroll. The letter K is Courthouse Steps. This is the Welcome to Tyler series. Um, Courthouse Steps is by Ginger Chambers. She wrote two books in the series. And then here's another one by Marissa Carroll called Love Knot. And this is set in the fictitious town of Tyler, Wisconsin. Each book has its own romance, and then there is an underlying overarching story that is a murder mystery that is um, going on, you know, continuing throughout the series. So uh, those have been fun. They're not super graphic. They have a little bit of steamy content, but very little. Maybe like two chapters out of the whole book. And, and they're not over graphic um, at all. So uh, much more to my liking um, than, uh, than others. Then I have some middle grade series. And most of these I don't have either. But I want to read the third book in the City Spies series. I'm guessing since all of his other middle grade series are trilogies that this will probably be, probably be the last one. It's called Forbidden City. I also would possibly like to read books two and three in the Overthrow trilogy by Kenneth Opal. It, um, the first one is called Bloom, and it is a Sunshine State book currently, right, or was it last year? I can't think. Yeah, I think it's, it is currently uh, one of the Sunshine State books for this current school year. But there is two, uh, there are two more books. The next one is called Hatch, and the third one is called Thrive. Um, I said that I made a list of 22 series and I'm kind of wanting to focus on trilogies for next year, but I think Donna from, um, used to be studio in the library. She's now changed her channel name. I think it's, is it reading connections? Donna, I hope that's right. Uh, anyway, she, she was going to buddy read this with me. So, uh, Donna, I don't know how set you are on reading, uh, another book in that trilogy this year or not. So I'm flexible either way. I can postpone it or, um, or it can be one of the ones that I finished this year. Um, a duology that is old, uh, The Pies by Eleanor Estes. I read Ginger Pie, which is a Newbery winner in uh, 2020, 2021, and then the only other book in that series is Pinkie Pie. So I may as well go ahead and finish that up. And then I have The Mo and Dale Mysteries by Sheila Turnage, and I own all four of them. The first one is Three Times Lucky. The second one is Ghosts of Tupelo Landing, and I've read both of those. I listened to them on audio, but I think I'm going to have to go ahead and read these in print because I don't, uh, I, well, I haven't ever seen these on audio. Uh, the Odds of Getting Even is book three, and then book four, The Law of Finders Keepers, and these are awesome. Another series I'd like to finish, this is book one, I don't own any of the rest of them, is the Charlie Joe Jackson series by uh, Tommy Greenwald. It's a six book series, I've read the first three, so I'd like to go ahead and read the other the other three. They are on audio, on Scribd. Uh, the next one is Charlie Joe Jackson's Guide to Making Money, then Charlie Joe Jackson's Guide to Planet Girl, and the last one is Charlie Joe Jackson's Guide to Not Growing Up. Incidentally, his, the second book is also funny. It is um, Charlie Joe Jackson's Guide to ex, uh, Extra Credit and then Charlie Joe Jackson's Guide to Summer Camp, I believe. Something like that. Um, anyway, it's a great series. It's so fun. I just adore it. And then another series or a trilogy, I have read book two, and I may just go ahead and reread the whole thing, but I don't I mean read the whole thing. I would only be rereading the second book. Um, I've never read book one, and I've just recently got a copy of book three on audio. It's the Things series or trilogy by Andrew Clements, and the first book is Things Hoped For. The second book is Things Not Seen, which are, um, those titles are um, based on Bible verses, but these are not Christian books. It, that's just interesting. And then Things That Are is the third book. And I really would like to um, read that whole series. And then I have two... Oh, and I ha I own those books, and I didn't even bring those in here. Sorry, I didn't get that far down the list when I was prepping. Uh, then I have two more full-length novels in the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. There are some other companion books and shorter things, and I don't know if I'll get to those or not, but um, they kind of relate to 
Percy Jackson and everything because Trials of Apollo also relates back to Percy Jackson. It's kind of a sequel series to the Percy Jackson series. So I don't know if I'll read those or not, but I do want to go ahead and finish the Apollo series, at least the full length novels. So I think that's 22. I haven't counted and I'm not going to take time to now. It's either 21 or 22. The goal is to for sure finish 20 of these series. And I hope to not have to make any substitutions like I did last year. I only had one alternate last year and then I ended up um, you know, I had one extra and, um, I ended up still, you know, not reading one, but having to substitute in another. So I'm hoping I don't have to do that. Okay. So for my second list, these are cozy mystery series that I want to make progress in, whether I read one or two or, or more, we shall see. I would, my goal is that any that I read one of, I go ahead and read two, but you know, that, that may or may not happen. So, okay, I was rattling on in detail about my second list of 20, and it was just getting too long. So, let me just tell you the names of the um, series that I'm hoping to make some progress in this year, and we'll go from there. I would love to read at least two from at least about 10 of these, and the others, we shall see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So, I have the Aunt Dimity series by Nancy Atherton. I'm actually reading one right now, and I'm reading Aunt Dimity Takes a Holiday. Then the next series is The Crochet Mysteries by Betty Hechtman, and the next one I need to read is, um, I said I wasn't going to do this, but By Hook or By Crook. And the next one is The Southern Sewing Circle Mysteries, and the next one I need to read is Death Threads. There's that. Uh, the next one is The Tea Shop Mysteries by Laura Childs, and the next one I need to read is somewhere, Shades of Earl Grey. And the next series is The Fresh Baked Mysteries by Livia J. Washburn, and the next one I need to read is Killer Crab Cakes. Uh, the next series on my list is the Kate Shackleton Mysteries, and I only own book seven, but books one, two, and three are on Hoopla, I think, and I've read or listened to book one, so I may go ahead and listen to book two, and then I may just go ahead and skip over to this one, because it's on audio there as well. It's so frustrating when you can, you know, you have to, you can't find everything in the succession <laughs> that you want. You have to either skip around or, you know pick up print books, or just buy them, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, um, then the next one is The Vintage Kitchen Mysteries by Victoria Hamilton. Actually, I'm going to bump that down in priority because I don't think I own, I may own the next one, No Mallets Intended, but if I don't, then that one can, I can lower that in the priority, um, in the priority of things. Uh, I have a series on my Kindle by Hope Callahan called The Cruise Ship Mysteries, and I uh, own quite a few of those. The next one is Portside Peril. I'll try to put a picture here. Then I want to probably read at least a couple of the number one ladies detective agency books. I'm up to number 18, which is House of Unexpected Sisters. And then The Cackleberry Club by Laura Childs. The next book I need to read is book six. It is called scorched eggs and then the next one on the list is the lucy stone mysteries the next one i need to read well i've read several of these in you know out of order but i have read book one so i have book two here tippy toe murder and then i would like to read a couple of the knitting mysteries by maggie sefton the next one i need to read is unraveled and um I probably will go ahead and listen to a couple of Amelia Peabody Mysteries by um, Elizabeth Peters. The next one I need to read is The Hippopotamus Pool. Uh, the Needlecraft Mysteries by Monica Ferris. I have that whole series. And the next one I am ready to read, I believe, is Cut Work. And then I have all of the White House Chef Mysteries. I've only read the first one. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, the next one, number two, is Hail to the Chef. And I know I'm going over ten here. I'm going to figure out which ones that I'm going to focus on or else I'm just going to, you know, possibly mood read. But, you know, or, or 
whichever ones fit different challenges, you know, I don't know. I'm I'm sure I'm not going to get two of every single one of these series read. And lo as long as I can get two books out of ten of these series read, then I'll, I'll consider that good. Um, I have the... This is not cozy, but it is a mystery series. Uh, Artifacts by Mary, L Mary Anna Evans is the first book in the Faye Longchamp series. I did listen to that last year. I didn't love it, but I have the next two. So even though it's a longer series, if I can at least get the next two done so that maybe I can unhaul these. Book two is Relics. And book three is what drew me to the series in the first place. It's called Effigies. And it has something to do with the Choctaw uh, Indian tribe, which I am a member of. So I wanted to read that. Uh, there's a few others that I may possibly um, read from. Oh, the Mr. Monk series. I want to read a couple of those. I have now listened to all of the ones that are available on audio, at least on Hoopla, or and, um, and I think they're on Audible Plus, too. So the next one I am up to is Mr. Monk is in Trouble. And um, a few other possibilities. Uh, the Cats in Trouble Mysteries, the Flavia de Luce Mysteries, uh, Lee Porn and Chi by Tony Hillerman, and uh, also the Patchwork Mysteries. I really do want to read uh, maybe more than two of, of that series. That is a guidepost series, and the next one I'm up to is Pieces of the Past. I think this is book six, and so that is a series I really want to pick back up with this year. So let me just skip on down now. Oh, actually, then there's two series I want to make progress in that are not... Cozy Mysteries, and I've actually already, I'm already accomplishing it right now. One is the Cape Light series by Thomas Kincaid and Catherine Spencer. I did read book four in December, and now I'm reading book five right now. It's called The Christmas Promise. And then the Twilight Texas romance series by Lori Wild. I listened to the Christmas Cookie Collection, and um, that was just this month in January. And then that was books four. 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, and 4.4. So I have a physical copy of 4.5, which is the Valentine's Day Disaster. And that, uh, if I get that read this year, maybe in February, which, by the way, there's going to be a retro romance readathon hosted by Storm from Storm Reads. And the challenge is to read vintage romances or romances that are, you know, from the 1990s or older. So that one I don't think is. I think it's newer than that. But I definitely want to... Um, to pick up some older romances and read them. I mean, I don't need to acquire more. I've got plenty. I, what I mean is actually pick them up in my hand and read them. So I'm excited about that. And that's for the whole month of February. Um, so then I have, I said I was going to uh, work to start and finish two whole series. The one I am most likely to do is a five book series. My sister's read these, loved them. She said she might read them with me uh, again because she really enjoyed them. It's the Heavenly Days series by Lori Copeland and Angela Hunt. I had these on my 20 by 20 challenge, and I didn't even start them. And I really want to get to them. So the first one is The Island of Heavenly Days. And I hope I have these in the right order. Grace in Autumn. That's number five. That's number four, so this must be three. A Warmth in Winter. Perfect Love, and Hearts at Home. So I'm excited about those. The other series that I need to read in print, I've got them up here. Um, I don't know if I'll get both series read in print. That's pretty ambitious. But uh, if I get, you know, if I get those done super fast and I feel like I've got enough months left to read, you know, one per month, I will read this Piggly Wiggly series by Robert, I don't know if it's Dalby or Dalby, Waltzing at the Piggly Wiggly. Kissing Babies at the Piggly Wiggly, a Piggly Wiggly Wedding, and a Piggly Wiggly Christmas. It would be great to finish out the year with a Piggly Wiggly Christmas. So we shall see how that goes. If it looks like I can't get those done, I'm also leading a read-along of the Penderick series, so I could count that, but that would be a reread. Um, I have two series that I can get on audio that, um, you know, I could count either of those. One of them is the Gresham Chronicles by Lo is it Lawana Blackwell. I've got all four of those, and I found them somewhere on audio, Scribd maybe, and the, the covers are gorgeous. I didn't bring one in here, but um, I'll, 
If I think about it, I'll try to put the, uh, a cover of one up here. And then I have also The Heirs of Acadia, which is by Thomas... Uh, why do I always want to say that? T. Davis Bunn, or Davis Bunn, and his wife, Isabella Bunn. It's a spinoff series of the Acadia series that he wrote with Jeanette Oak, which I love. I don't... Why am I pointing up here? These are my Jeanette Oak books, but I don't have that series up here because I don't own it. I think I may have one or two, but anyway. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> That's enough for this video. I am hoping to get this uploaded on, uh, it is Friday night right now. Uh, if I don't get it up till Saturday, um, I'm sorry because I wanted to be able to tell you about a live stream that's going to be at noon Eastern time tomorrow on Tiffany's channel, The Beach Bum Bookworm, and I'm going to be on it. We're going to be talking about Serious About Series. And so um, maybe I can get this uploaded in time for you to get that announcement and join us. So uh, I will link her channel down below. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.